Milton Page of Divine Networks, uh, the author of reading the preview of uh, Paul Heyman's documentary, My Name is Paul Heyman. I kind of wonder if this should be a documentary made in my life. Um, day one to now, because I know there's a lot of things that have happened to me. Uh, my early years growing up, all the little things have happened, got into the music world to now, because I thought, like, man, that would be awesome to have a documentary of my whole life, my early years growing up, and all the little things have happened. And how I got my feet wet when it comes to uh, music and listening to music every day. Learning how to play the drums and all that. Cause I was all like, wow. But, uh, I had to look back on my life. From my early years. Growing up, I, myself, there, there, I'm going to be very blunt with you guys, there's been things I've done in my early years growing up, I made mistakes, I know we all make mistakes, but for me at a young age, and I, I only wish, I can go back in time and fix all the little mistakes that I did when I was going to school and in life. And uh, it all relates to some uh, art or die, die try. And, and, and still to this day, it has haunted me that, gee, all the little things I've done in the past and everything else, and I'm like, gee, what, what would my life would have been if I didn't have all of this? But uh, I think at a young age, music has been my calling card. It's about, it's like my way. <sighs> And all the little hiccups, all the little mistakes I made. And I definitely thank to the music gods up above to save me. To to give me a new release on life and uh, it has helped me through thick and thin. Of all the little mistakes, all the trials and tribulations that I have been through my younger years to now and I look back and like gee all the things I did I'm like man I was such a screw up but hey you know in life we all make mistakes and we all move forward and I have always moved forward every every day it is blessing in the skies but hey all the trials and wishes, all the people have told me from years and years past, oh, you're not good enough, oh, you're not gonna succeed. And, uh, when I was still, when I was uh, first living in church bridge, and, uh, I was going through school, and I had, I had a tough time going through school in church for Saskatchewan, because that's where I lived for most of my life. I was bullied non-stop every day, but hey, I picked my own battles. I never got into any big fights, but I took it on the chin. But just having this, the people that I went to school with in Churchbridge that were constantly nitpicking at me, nitpicking at me, to the point of no return until that fateful day in band class and I was 
parking in the band class and there was a dude that I have known since school and he was sitting in the band class either side of me and he kept on provoking me provoking me provoking me every day it was like he was constantly like, keep picking on me so I'm saying like I had enough of it and you know I had anger problems and uh, I uh, took it out on him I grabbed a cowbell and I am like turn around and, and I clumped him and ran, ran a mouse busted his lip wide open with a cowbell and it just felt so good I was just like <sighs> oh, let me. Um, to me, if I had to look back on that time, what could I do? What could I do? Could I just get up and walk away? No, I'm in bad class. Pizza. I couldn't just fuse the system. I could just tell him, hey, would you please stop it? But he just couldn't. He would make me fun of me every time. So I was like, you know what? Hell is this. Grab the cowbell. Bam! Bash it right in the mouth. I got suspended for one day during that incident. And I was told you'd come back to school the next day after I'm pulled down. But, regardless of that, the people I went to school with during that time, they weren't there for me when I needed them the most. They turned all of them, all the people I went to school as a church preacher, in my own classroom. They turned their back on me. The one day in particular, your story, I was seeing in gym class. I think we were playing floor hockey this one day. And uh, I was kind of waiting for a right time for somebody to speak up to me. And uh, and this one person in particular, she's like, Hey, so John, what do you got the so, so plans you got when you're done school here? After you're done school here. And then the spawn, I was waiting for the right time. And I'm like, you know what? You know what I'm saying, sir? You want to trust bar? You want to trust bar? You want to keep provoking me all these times? And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm moving. I'm moving to York and I've done school here. Finish in the story. I got up, I walked away from doing my thing. Everybody was just like, in shriek. They were just like, oh my god. It was my plan. I've always had a plan. I was not that type of person who was going to sit there and let my future decide for me. I always had a plan to move to your computer in the first place. Because for me, I was being dishonest. I was not... I was always being a true friend. But when you keep provoking that same person, Don stop like like me after all those years. I always had a contingency plan was to move to York and fast forward a year a year before moving to York and I Lori it was all set, it was everything set in stone. I had to go back to Churchbridge, Saskatchewan, same town. Same little small town I grew up living in was to graduate at the famous cooling rink, and I was told to graduate and all that. So it was my last time in the sun, and it was like a practice walk down the to grad the grad stage and all that. It's so all like you know what? I don't need anybody to help me. I I can walk on my own two feet. I can do finish no I can finish what I started and I walked down the grad the grad stage program in church bridge down
down to the stage, up to my seat, and I sat there, and I was being patient. I'm a, I, I can be a patient person, but when a thing like this, that can lead into my next phase, my next, my next chapter, and I sat there patiently. Going through the whole grad ceremony, yada yada yada, and all that, the diplomas, and saying a little bit of all about what our next plans are, and all that. And I didn't review what our next plans are, I just kept them all in the dark. What our next plans are. After that, grab the diploma, the old thank you for everything, and all that. And, uh, came back here to Irkin to our house that we had bought and moved in and all the whole nine yards. So after the next day, it was, uh, next phase of my life was, uh, picking my next school and off the races we went. And, uh, hey, everything I've been to from time from going to school as regional to now, I'm still standing. The next phase, right here, right now, talking about music every day, it's my thing.